Victor Meza and Omar De La Cruz. You see there Dan Mergliata, the third man in the Bellator cage tonight. And Jason, let the fireworks begin. Yeah, and I think we're going to see fireworks. Did you see how intense Victor Meza Dude, looked in I'm the corner? You, man. I was over here at ringside, and I was nervous. Yeah, I, I'm glad I'm not in the cage tonight. These guys happy, of course, for the opportunity provided them by the Bellator Fighting Championships. And we are underway with round one. Little feeling out period again. Both fighters showing a lot of respect for each other. Victor looks like he's just ready to go and unleash. He kind of fell into mount there. Victor's turning his back to Dela Cruz. Could be a dangerous position. Victor needs to scramble, get in on that single leg, and get back up to his feet. Sort of a spastic, frantic pace as we begin here, about a minute into the first round. Up, up down. Victor Meza changes position, says, I'm going to be on top now, and puts Dela Cruz against the fence, working from inside of his guard. Now, let's see what Meza can do. And Victor Meza trying to stay perfect in his mixed martial arts career. Actually went 7-0 last year in 2008, so has been very active. And oh, in on an armbar now. This may be 9-1 if he gets that armbar any deeper. Dela Cruz has got his left arm fed through. Meza there, and he's working extending, get the leverage he needs to create an armbar. Meza is going to stack him and try to yank his arm out of there. Keep pressure forward. This could be the end of the fight. Oh, it slams him down. Mesa looks, passes, works to the back, needs to get a hook in. Very nicely done there by Victor Mesa to get out of potential trouble. I mean, Dela Cruz slapped down a beautiful armbar there, and uh, Mesa definitely needed to uh, do something there, otherwise it was going to be tap or snap time. Moving into full mount now. Again, you see Mesa willing to give up the back there a little bit, Jay? You know, some guys are comfortable giving up their back. They feel like, hey, you know, I can control your wrist and I can stand up and get that leverage and you're not going to hang on me if I if I stand up. But against a really high-level jiu-jitsu guy, you don't want to give your back. It's just ludicrous. Omar De La Cruz starting jiu-jitsu in 2001 has now morphed into a purple belt and, and looks like he might be on his way to a brown belt pretty soon. De La Cruz doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot there, and Victor Meza sort of content to, to stay there, even though his back is, is compromised. <laughs> Referee Dan Mergliata surveying the action, looking for some, and, and Victor Meza follows suit. Yeah, he takes that space that De La Cruz created there and turns into him. Victor Meza needs to throw some strikes, and when De La Cruz opens his guard there, you know, look to pass and improve that position. A lot of guys get comfortable just kind of sitting in guard and, and ground and pounding out that, that decision. But it's really rare that you see guys ever submit from ground and pound from within the guard. You need to get a little more leverage on those punches and, and pass guard and move into a more advantageous position. Nice left hand there by Victor Mays. It seems to be able to control De La Cruz on the ground pretty easily here. Yeah, De La Cruz is constantly looking to reach up and, and pull Meza into his guard there and hold him down low. You know, the last thing that Dela Cruz wants is Meza to have space. And Meza pushes off his face there. He's trying to create some space to come down with punches. Oh, misses the arm bar. Meza uses that opportunity to stand up. Oh, big right hand misses by an inch. Got to be careful of the triangle. Yeah, Meza really has been working on his jiu-jitsu, and uh, at least in terms of his defense against possible submissions early, it, it does seem to show. Yeah, absolutely. You know, De La Cruz this far has uh, shown some great jiu-jitsu. Good transition into the Uma Plata there. Meza's going to need to roll forward or come underneath De La Cruz there to avoid that submission. He tries to roll forward. De La Cruz trying to stop it. Good, he rolls out of it. He's on his back now, but at least he's out of uh, harm's way for the moment. De La Cruz just all but dominating the first round here, throwing up a bunch of submission attempts, now working into cross side or side mount on De Meza. Yeah, Meza's been active with his hands, really hasn't landed a whole lot. And you're right, the submission attempts, I think you'd have to give the first stanza at least through four and a half minutes to Omar De La Cruz. 
Now trying to do some damage from the side control position there. Yeah, you see Dela Cruz trying to work his left knee over the bicep of Meza there to pin it down and open up those punches. Got to be careful. Looked like it might have been an elbow to the head there. Those, of course, not allowed in the first two rounds of the Bellator tournament. We've got more welterweight action. Omar De La Cruz and Victor Meza in a moment. On Saturday, April 